Well, first of all, I want to be careful to say economics is a social science. It's not a hard science. Uh, but my work today was thinking about how in a world with very low interest rates, we could use uh, policies which temporarily had very low, ne even negative interest rates to try to stimulate an economy in deep recession. And the kind of things you can get out of the science of it are you can show that when the very short term rate is low, it raises inflation expectations, it makes other interest rates higher. It makes housing prices higher. It makes stock prices higher. So this is something to think through logically instead of just emotionally. And having a disciplined model, I think, is essential to trying to do this. There are actually a lot of great papers. I don't even know where to start. Uh, Rob Engel uh, this morning gave a wonderful talk about financial crises. And I would say a core takeaway is they tend to happen where you least expect it. We live in a world of safe assets. Those are the ones that everyone thinks are safe that are the most dangerous. I also thought uh, if I had to pick another paper, there was a really great paper by some people from the ECB, uh, also Stockholm School, School of Economics, looking at what's happened on negative interest rates inside Europe, there had been sort of a folk view, particularly among the banking lobby, that d these are never passed through to depositors, uh, particularly big depositors, and therefore banks are getting killed. And they showed, no, actually it's worked a lot like normal monetary policy. This is actually a landmark paper. I think it's the big paper of the conference. Thank you.